uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in the previous video we talked a lot about the core components and the building blocks like controller services dtos and all in this video we'll talk a little more about the dtos and the validations we are doing with the class validator so it's not always like you just do the is string is int is string basic validations you might have to do the validations for the nested object let's say we have the address also for the cat okay and that is like an optional property we have okay so i will just copy this and how we can do the nested payload validations by creating a new type altogether so let's call it as an address of a cat this is required true okay and uh, this is address and and it is a nested object so we have to create an address type and let's say this is not a single address this can be an array of address of a single cat okay in that case how you'll do it it's not a string but it's an optional whenever you are doing is optional that means if you are not even providing this property in the payload that is fine if you are providing then all these validations will apply so we can say this is an array okay we can again say this array mean size if you are specifying array then you have to specify that list minimum size of one okay now how do i validate this nested object this is going to be an array of address an address can be uh, another type we have let's call it as export class address and here we have few fields let's say uh, city and state this cat is very rich and it has its own address okay now uh, this is complaining okay one class we can disable this particular one by just saying okay because we are adding multiple classes now is optional let's import all these things add all missing imports now we are doing the nested payload validation right so how we do it there is a method validate nested validate nested that is coming from class validator and how we are going to validate so there is a validate type validate type we will get it from the class transformer i think and we will just specify what validate what transformation we wanted to do okay so here validate type validate nested we can import from class validator and this type we will get from the transformer okay so this class validator and class transformers works together here we are specifying validate type so what type we are validating uh, address type right so some additional custom logic we have to write this is the address is the type and here also you can specify the type so that when you see okay this is of type address array something like this this type is really helpful to expose things on the swagger and we already imported this why it is complaining type as uh, validate type and it's pointing to the address and this is our address field which is nothing but an address array okay sorry for that yeah now when I expose this, first of all, this property is optional in the create cat, but this will have a nested fields, nested properties in it, right? And this is how you can write a nested payload validation. Even if it is not an array, it's like simple address is a JSON object, then also it allows, it will do the same thing. You are actually validating the nested object, nested address object, then also it will be the same process. We will do the validate nested and validate type and the type of that address. 
and here if it is single json object you will be providing a schema like this so swagger will read it and we'll see okay this is of type address array this is one thing now uh, other uh, you can create dtos like uh, you can write the dtos for even the request param query parameter for anything currently this we are writing for the body that payload should have all these things what if you are passing some id and that must be of type uh, uuid so like export class get cat pi id param here what i'm saying is i just need a cat id to get the cat from the apis again same thing and then this is is uuid this we can import and then it is of type id of type string okay so what what does it mean is uh, we have the id property which we are passing in the params okay and it should be of type uuid only so if you are typing right adding some random string in the the query param it will not be valid and how we plug in it with the controller we can create a get by id or uh, something like that another api method that will be get cat by id and here we will specify this id and our input here in the list all it will be param so here we can specify a lot of things request response body param right and here i'm saying that uh, my params are of type what is the new type we have added the same type we will get here in the controller get get by param id and here we will say get get by id you can import this definition and in the params we can actually access the param dot id and we are already using the validation pipe here so it will validate this params if we are having the if we are passing the correct id or not right so this is how we are passing it here you can write a method in your service get by id pass this and return the response okay so this is all about the dtos services controllers interceptors middlewares and all these things so here i am finishing the the basic building blocks of nestjs now from in the next video let's do let's talk about the integration with the postgres mysql or any database because it's going to be the same we are using type orm as a orm layer now you can patch in any kind of database it's like uh, you have to just write a database module which is already there in my existing code i will just use it and then we will talk more about the entities we are going to define for the database the migration how we are going to run